All right, we have this problem where we've got two rods, AB and BC. They're connected. BC is pinned at C. And pin A here is traveling in this slot. We're asked to find the ICZVs for each rod at the instant shown and the angular velocity of rod AB. So we're going to start with BC. We can actually just say that C is the ICZV of BC. That's because it's a physical pin. And it's going to be, it's going to have zero velocity at C, actually at all instants. So it has zero velocity now and at every other time point. So that one's easy. For rod AB, that's undergoing general plane motion. It's not pinned anywhere. So we're going to have to find two velocities, the directions of two velocities, in order to find the IC. So if we consider the velocity at B, because BC is pinned, the velocity at B has to be in this direction, perpendicular to the rod BC. Now the velocity of A has to be somewhere, has to act somewhere along this line. It has to go either up or down. If we look at the, the, the physical aspect of this, we're going to see that VB, sorry, VA, has to be going downwards. Um, if you get that direction wrong, doesn't matter for this problem. So finding the IC. We've got VB, and we have to draw a line perpendicular to VB. And then we have to draw a line perpendicular to VA. And the point where they cross is the ICZV for AB. Great, so we found both the ICs. In order to use them, we need to do a little geometry to figure out what, um, what the distances are. So I'm just going to note that this is 30 degrees, so this angle has to be 60 degrees. We put a little construction line in here. Because this is 0.2 meters, we need to know uh, 0.2 cos 60. And so that's going to be 0 0.2 root 3 over 2. That's this distance here. Okay. Because this angle is 45, this angle will also be 45 degrees. Given that this one's 90, this one will be 45 degrees too. As a result, this length and this length are the same. 0 0.2 root 3 over 2. Now what we'll find we want for this problem is the length between B and the IC for AB. And to get that, we're just going to find essentially 2 times this length. So we'll get 2 times 0 0.2 root 3 over 2 times 1 over root 2, which is either cos or sine 45. And that can simplify. We're going to cross out those 2's. We get 0 0.2 root 3 over root 2. That's the length of this side. Okay, we've got almost everything we need to do the second part of the problem, which is to find the angular velocity of rod AB. So we'll start with assuming a direction for AB, omega AB. And we're going to assume that's a positive or counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to assume that omega AB is in this direction. If you look at the velocities of B and A, 
you're going to see that that's the wrong direction. It's, the, it's actually going to be moving in the opposite direction, rotating in the opposite direction. But the math will, will actually show that out to us, so we don't have to worry too much about that. The other thing we want to do is to put a coordinate system on our problem. Now, the easiest coordinate system is going to be this one, x, y. And that's because it's along the line of, of our r vectors. So this one is going to be r, b with respect to the i, c. And this one is going to be r, b with respect to c. So it's along those and VB is perpendicular to, it's gonna be in the minus X direction when we define our coordinate system like this. So this will be the simplest way to solve it. So what we're gonna to do to solve it is we're gonna write the equation for the velocity of point B um, in two ways. We're gonna write it with respect to C and we're gonna write it with respect to the IC for AB. So we'll start with the first one VB equals omega BC cross R B with respect to C. Omega BC, we've been told in the problem, is three rads per second in the positive k hat. And R B with respect to C is gonna be 0 0.1 meters in the positive j hat. So VB becomes three in the k hat cross with 0 0.1 j hat. That's going to be minus 0 0.3 meters per second in the i hat. So k cross j is minus i. So we've got one expression for vb, and now we want to write a second one. So vb also equals omega ab, because b is a point on AB cross with RB with respect to the IC. So we're treating it like this point, the IC of AB is a point on the body and it's the point where there's zero rotation. It's acting like a pin at this instant. Because of that, we can write the simpler um, pure rotation or fixed axis rotation equation rather than the longer relative motion velocity equation. So we've already gotten what omega AB was. That's the omega AB, the scalar in the k hat direction. Crossed with, we've got the distance here, 0 0.2 root 3 over root 2 uh, in the minus j hat in this case. So we do that cross product out, we get 0 0.2 root 3 over root 2 omega ab in the positive i hat. Then we set those two expressions for vb equal to each other. We get minus 0 0.3 in the i hat equals 0 0.2 root three over root two, omega AB, also in the I hat. We'll cancel out those I's, and we find that omega AB equals minus 0 0.3 over 0 0.2, root three over root two, which also equals minus 1.22 rads per second. And we can write that out in vector form as minus 1.22 rads per second in the k hat direction. Because we got a negative scalar when we calculated omega AB, that tells us that this direction wasn't the right one. It's actually going clockwise. But you can see how the math automatically told us that. And that's how you calculate velocity using ICZV.